Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to continue with Let's Defend.io. We're going to move on to the next uh, SOC detection, which is going to be SOC 103, a malicious APK. So, from the main page after signing in, it's underneath monitoring, and it shows as the top event. So we'll want to go through and denote all the materials that are listed. So I've actually got that pulled up in a notepad document just for notes, as we're going to have to go through and do a little bit of investigation, and we'll have to refer back to this eventually. So we're going to go ahead and perform an action to start the case, and we're going to want to take a look at some of these things. So the biggest aspect, at least right off the bat, is we want to see about trying to find this malicious APK. And they give us a package name, which makes absolutely no sense. Though, thankfully, you can take the package name and put it into Kudos. It tells us that it's quote-unquote supposedly Flash Player. Well, I don't see Adobe mentioned anywhere in there. And interestingly enough, there is not a whole heck of a lot in terms of overall information. Although what we can derive from this is one, we've got two analyst votes, both of them as negative, as in this file is, or APK file is malicious, or uh, does something unwanted. Ergo, the negative two score in the upper left hand corner. But what it does give us is the MD5. We can take that MD5 and we can put it into the wonderful service that we touched on last time, Virus Total. and search via the MD5. And what we get is something that is detected out of 66 engines 31 times. Dang near half. And looking at all as to how the detections go through, it looks like it's a banking trojan. By looking at things like Dr. Webb or Tencent basically spell out that it's a banking trojan. Now what we can do is we can actually just kick the file off for reanalysis just to see as to whether or not if we get more than the 31 out of 66. I mean at the time of recording it was uh, the results were 17 days old. So already 10 out of 25, 13 out of 31. So it's a pretty good bet that this is indeed malicious. So we'll go ahead and give this a second to finish. fairly certain that it's going to end up being a something bad just from the detections we've got. So what we can do is go back and we're going to start the playbook sections for the incident. So they want us to go through and search log management to answer the questions. So I've opened that up in another tab. Let's see what the questions they ask. Okay, go through, analyze it. So we use the CODIS, and which gave us the MD5 from the package name, 
MD5, we dumped in the virus total, which told us that, yes, this file is indeed malicious, so we can answer the first question for the analysis of the APK, that it is indeed malicious. And it wants artifacts. Now, realistically, the only thing we have out of all that is the recorded MD5. And so 31 out of 64. So it got scanned by one or two extra engines. No more results and updated. So we'll grab the MD5 from there. Pop it in here. And we'll denote comment for Android banking Trojan. don't think that there's anything else we can put in because since it wasn't an email the email sender and email domain don't apply actually what we can do is let's go back and take a look at the logs so we're going to try to find any sort of communication so the source address we'd be looking for is 10.15.15.14 and there is nothing in the logs for that that will help us. But then again, the device action, as was noted when we started this, was that it was blocked. So maybe the ins it looks like the installation would not have completed then. So we don't have anything else really to add. Huh. Interestingly enough, I can't seem to remove the X or remove this empty point so hopefully we don't get penalized for just having an empty section for the artifacts ah okay so we're gonna go through and we're gonna have to remediate Jesse's phone so EDR even though there's not EDR it's endpoint security on the left so I'll go ahead and open that up in another tab and we will find Jesse's phone again at the 10, 15, 15, 14 and the rightmost section is request containment which is now done I'll go through and take a look just to see if there's anything else that we could add it doesn't look like there's really any sort of log info so we won't be able to pad out those rest of those results so we'll go back and we've done this by flipping the switch and it looks like we just finished the playbook now let's we'll see what kind of score we got actually take the results. Okay, so we'll quickly go through. Maybe it's the whole aspect of having had an empty section in there. So we'll just go ahead and retry Android Banking Trojan. Next, we did the containment, finished the playbook. There we go. And we can finish it. And we'll go ahead and add in the notes of attempted infection via fake Adobe Flash Player. The file was really in Android. Trojan because we got the, the uh, alert uh, that led to the investigation that that package name and IP or not IP but uh, MD5 were malicious it is indeed a true positive detection so go ahead and close the alert and we'll continue on and we'll see as to how we scored
And it looks like we got the true positive right, and we got the fact that it was malicious correct. Although, I do like the feedback portion, although it would be nice to know as to whether or not if there were any other possible points that could be derived from here to see as to whether or not if we're or missing anything. Granted, in a real sock, you know, unless you had to engage an outside in its incident response team or you had the sock divided up into a couple of different teams going through and working an investigation from different angles, you effectively, if you're the one on point and you're going through and filling out these playbooks, you'll never really find out. Unless, you know, uh, one of the other teams finds something that hits it from a different angle, or the outside IR team does it. So, there we go. That go goes through and gives us our, now, two completed alarms. And since this is a free account, we are left with just one more, which will be malware detected. So, I will cut this out, and we will go through and hit SOC 104, malware detected, at a future point.